Hello to Six Sigma Mania. Gemba Walk, also called Waste Walk, is about finding wastes in reviewed processes. It is organized walk to see waste activities. It is always team effort. It helps to understand and reveal current challenges and opportunities to improve. There are three steps in Gemba Walk. 1. Pre-work. 2. Gemba Walk itself. 3. Improvement actions. Pre-work is to prepare yourself and team for Gemba. Preparation is crucial for successful activity. Define problematic process first. Usually is identified by project you are solving. But Gemba can be performed without running project 2. Work with process owner. Process owner must know about this activity and understand its reasons. Activity will fail without his support. Work with process owner to identify person from reviewed process to be part of the team. Identify team. It's always good to have people from reviewed process as well as from other departments. Four to six people in the team is ideal. Train people for area safety hazards. It is crucial to stay safe for Gemba team as well as process team. Train team for waste types. There are eight wastes. You can print waste with description for each team member. Check out my video about waste and lean. Print out papers for Gemba walk notes. Leave space for brief waste description, waste type identification, and location description. To describe each waste, try to use numbers as much as possible. Like there are three different mixed part types on XYZ warehouse location. Identify one person responsible for writing notes. Identify one person to take photos. Make sure you have permission to take photos on reviewed place. Gemba can take one to two hours. So make sure all teammates have available time. Schedule this activity to team calendars. Gemba walk detailed steps are high level introduction to the process by leader or supervisor. Make sure everybody has at least high level understanding of reviewed process. Introduce yourself and your team to people in the reviewed process. Explain your intent there and ask them to work normally as you were not there. Walk the process. Make sure you do not forget to visit surrounded areas used by people from reviewed process, like cabinets or shelves. If there is some personal area, ask for permission to open it. Take notes and pictures. Discuss each finding directly at the place to let everybody understand wastes. Try to identify also positive things form the process, not just negative ones. Rewrite findings to electronical form if written by hand during the walk. Improvements actions is the next step. Team reacts on findings. Use created electronical list and take notes on following steps. This can be done different data gamble walk. Review findings and pictures with team and process owner. Define ideal state how should finding work better. Clarify if change could be quick fix, short term or long term action. Identify person who will lead each change. I call them task owners. Ask task owner to define due date of the change. Task owner is always team member. If there is a need for other departments involvement, task owner is the one who coordinates activity with them. Proceed task by task by filling all required information. Leave harder tasks for later discussions. Set regular weekly or bi-weekly progress reviews with the team and task owners. One hour review meeting will be enough. You can continue where you have stopped on following meeting. Estimate time or cost saved by finished change. Do not forget to report successful changes to process owner, sponsors, and stakeholders. Look under the video, where you find a link to my blog with many Six Sigma and Lean templates. Gimbal Walk template is available there too. If you find this video helpful, give us a like. Do not hesitate to post your comments, questions, or themes you are interested in to see on this channel. Thank you.